Right. It is Python on hardware time. I'm wearing my Blinka shirt to celebrate. Good, good uh, on brand. That's right. So uh, first up, uh, we had 500 boards, but uh, I think this is, we were adding some or whatever, but we wanted to uh, pre-announce that there's 500 CircuitPython boards you there are now yes yeah and under this latest release yeah and i'm gonna go to the uh um, um, downloads yeah so if you go to python uh circuitpython.org and check out the um downloads we have 503. well we just added some we just added some more and uh one of the things that we're proud of is uh the community has done the bundles and the boards aren't even ours. That's right. The top boards are not even ours. Yeah. Pico, Pico W, Shao, and RP2040. And we made Circuit Python so people could come along and easily have all the firmware just you can just download it. So if you have a Seed Studio Shao, here it is. You can get Circuit Python 905, download the UF2. There's beta. All this happens automatically. It has where you could be, where it could be purchased. We don't have this isn't affiliate links or anything. These are just places that you can get it from, and it helps people run their businesses. I know um, Mini Sam, for instance, by Ben uh, doesn't have to worry about doing firmware. Um, there's just a lot of neat things that you can do with CircuitPython, and this is one of them. And like one of the problems that we wanted to solve is how do you manage all the firmware? Yeah. So check out CircuitPython.org. We're up to do, 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 do. Number five. 500 boards. Congratulations to the team. Half a thousand. And more. And then the newsletter where we keep track of all this stuff. Um, there's only one Python on hardware newsletter out there um, that we know. Um, there's Python newsletters, but we have 11,000 subscribers. We don't spam. Um, it, you can, most, probably a lot of people even get it just on the web or GitHub. Or it's not AI generated. Blog. Not AI generated. <laughs> Uh, made by meat yeah and uh we put it out there as a as a service as part of the community and uh here is this week's and is okay. doing an excellent job with it and uh we have news yeah events um usually lady ada has her pick yeah what's your pick of the week what's your, okay, your pick so here? scroll down uh okay so we'll talk about this but the um there's new raspberry pi and two hat good for adding hardware to your python running raspberry pi that's just kind of neat um there's also a lot of chatter online about um you know financial future of raspberry pi which is pretty exciting you can check that out though it's i don't think we covered it here and yeah then, it's all good and then uh, i thought this was neat um so i like just you know MicroPython and circuit python now support so many chips and so many chip families that a lot of products can just like run MicroPython or circuit python and What's interesting is that it means that if you want to hack with hardware or hack a device, it's easier than ever because, you know, getting an SDK and building the board definition can be like, it's a real pain, but with MicroPython, CircuitPython, super easy. So this is a play date game. Um, they ha it's running in uh, STM 32 yep. F seven, I think, or something um, that's supported with MicroPython. I think they just made a slight variant change. And um, I like that they even got the um, display driver working um, that display, we actually have a driver for it in CircuitPython, so maybe they ported it to MicroPython, which is super cool. Yeah. Uh, and then lastly, we have one last thing. Um, I keep going, keep going. And this is cool, too. Oh, this is cool. Um, so the latest... The little Arduino robot, robot can run MicroPython. Yeah, the uh, latest Arduino product is this a cute little robot. Um, and what I like is that it's programmed in MicroPython. It's got an ESP32 and an STM32 to do the real-time robots and sensing stuff which makes sense because the esp32 doesn't have as many pins as you'd think you'd think like oh like so many pins but a lot of them are used for flash and memory and are input only um so you know micro python for robotics is a great it's a great platform and i'm psyched um to see that and of course if someone wants to do a circuit python build esp32 is supported and then finally Jepler a couple days ago did a talk at PyCon, which I think is just wrapping up now. They might be doing sprints um, a little bit this week, but he gave a talk, I think, on Monday or Sunday or something or Tuesday. Uh, he said it went great. Uh, did some retro keyboard hacking videos, I think, will be posted up soon. And um, I'm gonna, you know, he might uh, do a guide or a, a playground note where he links to all of the stuff oh, cool. he covered. Yeah, and we'll um, fill the newsletter with some of the... Uh 
talks that were posted. Yeah, they get posted. They get posted. Yeah. They get posted. So um, there's, there's a lot of projects in here. I didn't get to cover everything. Katni did a cool badge for um, PyCon. Yeah. Um, some, you know, just, just kind of texting. A lot going on. And so check it out. And once again, congrats to Anne and the team who put the newsletter dun, dun, dun. together. Uh, this is delivered to you every single week. Adafruitdaily.com is where you get it. And uh, we hate spam even more than you do. So uh, we want to make sure we always respect what you want. So it's not even part of the store experience. It's not Adafruit.com. It's Adafruit Daily.